Hello everyone from wherever you are tuning in from around the world. Welcome to the WCG for the grand final of the 2023 Australia Day T20 Big Bash. As the undefeated two inches short of a length, take on the youngsters, the six offenders, for the right to be crowned Kings of Australia Day for this season. Both of these sides featuring in their first ever grand final. So for one of these sides, they are about to win their first ever Australia Day T20 Big Bash title. For the six offenders, they narrowly got past taking over in semi-final one. It was an easier affair for two inches short of a length, who overcame the 2019 champions wet up. The captains are in the middle and ready for the toss. Lads, shake hands. Six offenders call. Cool. Here's a hill. The six offenders skipper Daniel Hancock has won the toss and he is elected to bat first here in this grand final. As we have a look at how both sides shape up for this year's decider, the Reds will go into this one as slight favourites. They are led by Hamid Basha, who will be joined by his right hand man Justin Brook. The pair have been fantastic for the Reds in this year's competition, amassing 77 and 62 runs respectively and are a big reason why they find themselves in this maiden grand final. And the side is rounded out by Alex Stepien. And as for the six offenders, they'll be captained by Daniel Hancock, who has taken six wickets in the tournament so far to lead the way with the ball. He's joined by his twin brother, Nathan Hancock, with Riley Cornforth, who is the leading run scorer of this year's tournament so far, with 90 to round out the side for the youngsters. And just before we get underway, we'd like to thank our major partner for this year's tournament, Better Beer, who have been fantastic since jumping on board. It is always a day for it here at the WCG. So here we go. Two grand final debutantes. One Australia Day T20 Big Bash title up for grabs. Will it be red or will it be yellow? The 2023 Australia Day T20 Big Bash grand final is ready to go. And predictably, it will be Riley Cornforth who will get this grand final underway with the blade for the six offenders. Has been fantastic in this year's tournament. Amassing 90 runs to be the leading run scorer of the tournament so far. Can he stand up in the big dance? So a first Australia Day T20 Big Bash title up for grabs. And it's going to be Justin Brook to go around the wicket to Cornforth for the opening over. Here he's in now. It's a good length delivery. And he plays it on the offside to Alex Stepien, who fields for no run. So a good start for both sides here in the decider. Brook bang on the money and Cornforth fills bat on ball. As Brook is in once again to Cornforth, gets a thick inside edge onto his body. He moves through for the first run of this grand final to get off the mark. A bullet there from Justin Brook, and Cornforth is away. Brook to continue around the wicket in the opening over. Here he's in now, this one's a back of a leg delivery, and Riley Cornforth flicks it beautifully off his hip for the first boundary of this year's decider. That is a beauty from the youngster. Short delivery there from Brook, and it's put away. So Cornforth continuing his good tournament as Brook is into him once again. And this one, I think, hits him on the body. He's going to sneak through for a leg by. And a direct hit could have been interesting there. But Elbasha fails to hit the target. It's good busy cricket there from the youngster who moves through to add another one to the score for the youngsters. It's going to be Alex Stepien in to bowl the second over of the innings. He's in now too. Cornforth begins with a good delivery. And Cornforth gets a thick outside edge onto the fence. And we'll move through for another single. So a good start to the grand final there from Stepien. It just got big on Cornforth. And he gets away with one. Stepien to continue around the wicket here to Cornforth. He's in now. This one's a good length delivery. Played up asleep from Cornforth on the leg side. And it beats Justin Brook to go all the way for a maximum. Well, let's have a look. This looked like it was a catchable height. Oh, might have been half a chance, you know. Six runs. The six offenders have moved along to 14 without loss. A step in will continue around the wicket here to Cornforth, who arches his back to get out of the way of this one. Oh, and it has been called a wide here by the umpire. And two inches short of length, do not like the decision one bit. Step in believes this might have gone over leg stump. I think he might have a case there. Here's he'll continue to Cornforth in the second over. Here's this one's played down the ground, and both Hamid Basher and Step in dive, but they can't make the stop. It's another boundary to Cornforth. Cornforth moves along to 16 in the grand final. 
The six offenders, 19 without loss. Step in to continue a random wicket here to Cornforth. Here he's in now. This one's a back of a leg delivery. Cornforth, I think, gets an inside edge onto his body. And this looked like it narrowly missed the auto wiki. But he moves through for a single. So luck just going the six offenders way at the moment. Oh, that wasn't too far away. The red sense a need for a wicket. As Justin Brook will bowl the third over of the innings. He's in now to Cornforth and serves up a full toss. And it's hammered down the ground there by Cornforth. Brilliant from the opener, who's continuing his stellar tournament. 24 without loss. 111 runs for Cornforth in this year's tournament. As Brook will continue around the wicket to him now. And this one's clipped onto the fence and it runs back into the middle of the wicket. As Cornforth will move through for another single. And take his tally for the tournament to 112. And he'll take the six offenders along to 25 without loss. So they are in a very good position to launch in the back half of this innings. As Brook is in once again to Cornforth, and this one's a full delivery. But on this occasion, it's a rare swing and a miss here from Cornforth. So the omens are good for the six offenders. Only two sides have ever won a Big Bash final, chasing both of those occasions. The target was less than 20. As Cornforth hits this one down the ground, but it's well fielded off his own bowling from Brook for another dot ball. So back-to-back -to -back dots here for the Reds. So we arrive at the final ball of the third over. Brooks final for the tournament. And this one's a beautiful delivery to end with. But it narrowly avoids the off stump. Luck just going six defenders way here in this grand final. Brook unlucky. But it is three consecutive dots to end the over. 25 without loss with one to go. And it's going to be the skipper. Hamid Basher to bowl the final over of the innings. He's in now and he drops short. And this one swatted down the ground from Cornforth for a boundary to get in the final over. Not the start the Reds were looking for. Cornforth marches on. The youngster moves along to 26. As Elbasha goes back over the wicket this time. And this one's played on the onside, but it's well fielded there by Justin Brook, who prevents another boundary. So the six offenders, 29 without loss, with three deliveries remaining in the innings. As Elbasha is in once again to Cornforth, it's short and wide, and it's hammered back down the ground for a maximum. Brilliant this from Cornforth. Standing up on the big stage, 35 without loss. Well, the Reds are going to need to bat well to win their maiden title. As Cornforth has a wild swing here for the monoldment delivery of the innings. And he doesn't make contact. So the six offenders, 36 without loss. So we arrive at the final delivery of the innings. Elbasha into Cornforth, it's short and wide. And it's hammered for a maximum to finish with. The six offenders, 42 without loss after their 20 deliveries. Caught fourth, 38 not out. The final over goes for 17. Do the youngsters have one hand on the trophy? Well, Riley Cornforth at the top of the order carries his bat through the innings and produces the highest score in a grand final since season one as the six offenders post 42 without loss after their 20 deliveries. Caught for 38 not out. And the Reds are going to have to create history if they're to lift their first ever title. 43 to get. And it will be Justin Brook, who will be entrusted to get this run chase off to the ideal start for the men in red. Has been brilliant at the top of the order so far for his side. And they desperately need another knock from him here. So the tournament comes to its climax. 43 to get for the men in red. And it's going to be Daniel Hancock who bowl the first over to Brook. Here he's in now. This one's a good length delivery outside the off stump. But it's been given a wide. It looked a good decision that. So the Reds are underway for the run chase. Can the youngsters hold their nerve? As Daniel Hancock will continue again now to Brook. It's another one outside the off stump. But this one is well inside the line. So that one will be a dot ball. Much to Brook's dismay. But it's a fair dot. Hancock to continue to Brook in the opening over. Here he's in now. Brook gets bat on ball. He plays his way on the leg side. But it's brilliantly stopped there by Riley Cornforth. You just cannot keep him out of the contest. He's unlucky there, Brook. He would have felt that was four. That is a brilliant stop. No, we get for three after one. It's going to be Nathan Hancock to bowl the second over of the run chase. He's in now. And this one's a full delivery, but he's pushed this down the leg side. 
So that's another one added to the total. So they've just been a bit wayward to begin this run chase with the ball. And his brother just coming up to uh, maybe settle the nerves here. They're on the brink of their first title, the youngsters. The Reds are going to have to start finding the boundary pretty soon. As Hancock's into Brook once again, he can't lay bat on ball. And this one hits him on the leg. And he's going to move through for a leg bye. So the six offenders won't mind that one bit. As long as the ball isn't going to the boundary, they won't care. The Reds no wicket for six in the second over. His Brook needs to get a bit of a wriggle on. As Hancock will continue to him now in the second over. It's a short delivery. Brook gets a bottom edge through to the keeper. As he did in the semi-final. That's a huge moment in the grand final. Brook goes for just one. The six offenders well on top here in the grand final. The Reds won for six. 36 required off 12 deliveries for the Reds. And that wicket now brings Hamidul Basha to the crease. The skipper at number two. If ever you needed a captain's knock, it is right now. His form suggests he is more than capable. As Hancock's into Obasha for his first delivery. And there's a big appeal, but I think this might have hit the arm of Obasha and gone through to the keeper. Yeah, Nathan Hancock suggesting as much. Let's have a look. Yes, just off the arm. Good decision from the umpire. So Hancock is in for the final ball of the second over. He's in now. This one's a short delivery. And I think it hits Elbasha on the body. And there's a big celebration from Hancock. Not for a wicket, but because it's a dot ball. The Reds stuck. One for six after two. It's going to be Riley Cornforth to bowl the third over of the innings. He's in now to Elbasha. He gets his way on the leg side. But it's well stopped there by Nathan Hancock. And it will only be a single as Elbasha faints to go for a second. So the six offenders edging closer here. The Reds just cannot find the boundary. 36 required off nine deliveries. The Reds are going to have to get going as Cornforth's in again to Hermel Basha. And this one's played down the ground, but it's well stopped off his own bowling from Cornforth. The men in yellow are on a mission here, and they're just about there. The Reds are shell shocked here as Cornforth's in again to Basha, and finally they get one away to the boundary. It's a full toss served up by Cornforth, and Obasha doesn't miss out on them. Six runs. Well, they're going to need plenty more of them as Cornforth is in once again to Obasha, who has hammered down the ground for back to back maximums. Well, that one will help here for the Reds. Elbasha beginning to get going now. He moves to 13. So Cornforth is in for the final delivery of the third over. He's pulled his leg back, and this is hammered to the boundary. Three boundaries on the trot for the Red Skipper. They're still alive in this grand final. They will require 20 off the final over. So appropriately, this grand final will come down to the final over. It's Daniel Hancock to Obasha. He's in now, and it's a wild swing here from Obasha, and he doesn't make contact. And that's not the start to the final over the Reds were looking for. 20 to get from four deliveries. This is a big delivery in the context of the grand final. He's in now. It's a short delivery. Elbasha is asking for a high ball. It's not forthcoming. It's a dot ball to the men in yellow. It's the right call. They've just got to hold their nerve, the six offenders, and their champions. Hancock into Elbasha. It's a good delivery. Elbasha doesn't have a swing, and it's a dot ball. And they know it, the six offenders. They've only gone and done it. They're only going to win their first ever Big Bash title. Two deliveries left. This one's hammered down the ground from Obasha, but it's brilliantly stopped off his own bowling from Hancock. It'll only be a single. Just one delivery left in this year's decider. The Reds have left their worst performance till last. And their wait for a maiden title is going to extend into another year. This year belongs to the youngsters. Hancock. In for the final delivery of the grand final. He's in now. Oh, it's an anti-climax. He's pushed this one down the leg side. So that one will have to be re-bowled. So the Reds won for 25 with one delivery remaining. Just needs to get this straight here, the youngster. Hancock into Obasha. He hammers it for four, but it doesn't matter. The six offenders are your 2023 Australia T20 Big Bash champions. 
the youngsters come of age on the big stage to lift their first ever Big Bash title. And just look what it means to them. They have been fantastic in this grand final with both bat and ball. They have consumed the Reds today. And this is their day. Champions of Australia Day for the first time. So the six offenders break through for their maiden Australia Day T20 Big Bash title with a dominant performance here in the decider as they prevail by 13 runs. Riley Corforth carrying his bat through the innings, finishing 38 not out. Nathan Hancock picking up the only wicket taken in this year's grand final and their popular winners of this year's title as the Reds will begin to wonder what went wrong after such a dominant tournament but they can hold their heads up high. So we take a look at the leading run scorers of this year's edition. Riley Cornforth finishing a clear first on 128 runs. A middle bash of the red skipper finishing on 84 in second. And Henry Perinara, the skipper of the Nifnuffs, finishing third on 83. And as for the leading wicket takers of this year's tournament, Aaron Gardner, the lead man for taking over, finishing on seven wickets. Daniel Hancock, the six offender skipper, finishing with six. And the red skipper, Hamidol Basha, featuring on both lists, finishing with five. So a very tough decision for man of the tournament. But ultimately, we've gone with the six offenders opener, Riley Cornforth, who finished with 128 runs and two wickets, who was the difference, particularly with the blade, for the six offenders in this year's tournament who takes out this year's MVP award. Congratulations, Riley Cornforth. The first ever Australia T20 Big Bash title. Congratulations, Riley. So the six offenders lift their first ever Australia T20 Big Bash title. They've been knocking on the door and they've finally kicked it down. We hope you've enjoyed this year's edition. Until next time, it's bye for now.